Hello people, and welcome to Crypto Exposed. Having fun yet guys? Okay, we are in the ball run, it is full and in effect, and HBAR is doing beautifully. And so, I just wanted to show you a few analysts who are talking about HBAR right now, just to give you an idea of what the sentiment is out there. Spoiler alert, it's very bullish. <laughs> so um, a lot to look forward to here. But yeah, um, man, this is absolutely incredible to see. I know it must be surreal for people. Um, I know it's definitely surreal for me, even though it's not my first rodeo with a ball run. I've been here before. But um, when you just start seeing these kind of prices and like you're just looking at your portfolio, just rising in value, it, it is crazy, you know, because it's, it's not like it rises by small amounts. It's like everything's taken off, right? So everything's just rising massively in value. So you're just like, oh my God, this is insane. Um, but yes, I have been here before. So this is exactly what I was warning you guys about. And it's here. It's here. And all it took was patience, guys. And this is what I was trying to tell you. Like fundamentally, HBAR is strong. So in my opinion, I see no reason why it still wouldn't continue to have um, a rally when it comes to alt season. Because that's one thing I will just let you guys know. Um, a lot of people are saying right now, like we're not actually in alt season. Like they're just saying, look, this is just the beginning right this is just the beginning right now this is still bitcoin leading the market right now um and then eventually we get the alt season rally and that's when the bitcoin dominance drops so like hbar's performing and we're not actually in the bull run yet which is it's great you know this is really great to see because when the actual alt season rally comes in it should get an even bigger run as well so who knows where it's going to go guys but i'm just going to give you some vibes out here from what i'm seeing from the analysts okay so we have Egreg Crypto here and it says HBAR making history. HBAR is showing amazing strength. In just 16 hours, we're on track to close a monthly candle above the FIB 0.5 level, a huge milestone. Then I just want to get to the main part here. He says all time high is within reach, but my focus is on the $1 mark, a game changing level for HBAR. H barbarians get ready for barbaric moves. Beautiful. I mean, one dollar. I think that would be absolutely amazing if we could reach that. I really hope we can. I've seen some people say like two, three dollars. Um, look, I'm not gonna say that that's not plausible. It'd be very, very uh, much on the high end in my opinion, but it is plausible. So we will see because the way the market's moving now, it's quite strange. Just because of, as I said earlier, like. Bitcoin dominance hasn't dropped yet, but the alts are still like running, like altcoins are actually having a run as well. So it's like the market's really, like the market will generally move together, but Bitcoin would normally significantly uh, move better. But that's not really the case right now. Like you've got other altcoins that are running as well. So then when it comes to the alt season rally, there's still more room for way more value to go into these cryptos. So who knows where this could get right now? It is looking really crazy. Like this is a very bullish ball run from what I'm seeing so far. Okay, so just give me a second, I'll get you another one. Here we go, we've got Crypto Observer and he says early and violent dash H bar. Directly comparing the 2021 H bar bull chart with the 2025 H bar bull chart, Hedera pricing is violent in its rise and running about six weeks early compared to 2021. Something big is pending. Big, big, big. I mean, let's hope so, man. Like I say, like the, these analysts are all looking very um, positive from what they're saying. So the way this is running, as I say, is looking very impressive, I have to say. So I can understand why that kind of sentiment is here. Okay, we then have Crypto X Man, and he says, I think HBAR gathering ahead of steam to blast past 20 cents. As always, time will tell. Smart money is accumulating HBAR for what's coming next patience and we will see those all-time highs be reached around that 50 cent range give it two months or less and i think we will genuinely get there lots of devs working behind the scenes and well the rest we already know what's happening with rwa stablecoin studio DREC alliance with xrp algo and ada other rwa partnerships i.e red swan and archax things are really starting to materialize and much much more so exercise some patience and don't try to trade or you could miss out on a much bigger move. Yeah, man, like, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not here to tell you guys what to do. Uh, but for me personally, I, I don't trade, you know, to me, trading is like, uh, it's a big gamble, like trying to get in and out of positions because let's say you, you find a trade and you think, oh, okay, H bars have gone up quite a bit. And then you think, okay, I'll sell. And then when it dips a bit, I'll buy some more. Well, if you sell and then it just continues to go up. Right. Like I've, I've actually seen that happen with someone, uh, with XRP. Like this was when it was really early. It was the very first ball run I was in. And, um, 
there was like XRP was rallying. And the first time they did it, they made a good amount of profit. So they, they brought um, and sold when it had gone up and then it dipped a bit, brought some more and then got, made some money off of that. But then they sold all of it in hope of like a, a bigger dip. And it just continued to go up and they just, they ended up losing, um, they lost the profit that they'd originally made, uh, due to being like shut out. And so this is why I say like, you, you do have to be careful with that kind of stuff. So I'm not here to tell you what to do. That's, that's your choice. But for me, I, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to wait until I get to a price that I'm happy with and then sell. That's just the easiest way for me personally to make sure that I take advantage of the bull run. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. We've got more crypto online. H bar. This looks like an attempted upside breakout from an Elliott wave triangle. The move to the upside is very extended and could form a price top at any point, but one more high is likely developing. The next upside levels to watch are 17 cents, 20 cents and 23 cents. As you can see guys, just more upside potential, way more upside potential. And then we have crypto.ai. Finally, as I predicted, HBAR will hit 18 cents, so HBAR just did it. Thank you so much HBAR team and HBAR community for hard work and support. Now the next target to hit is 40 cents very soon. So look, as I say, you can see like differences of opinion in terms of what the next levels of support are, and what the next targets are. But the point is, they're all bullish, right? Everybody's saying that HBAR is looking like it's going to go higher. And this is what I mean, guys. Like, this is what a bull run is made of. Like, it, I'm not saying that it just goes up in a straight line. Of course not. So this is one thing I want you guys to understand. Like, don't get scared if there's like retracements and stuff like that, because typically that does happen. Now, look, I, I can't guarantee that any retracement happens. Um, it is never going to be a permanent dip because, for example, there could be a black swan event and that could just ruin the whole bull run that is possible but what i'm saying is like in a general bull run in a general sense if you just see like a general dip and it's just like there's no news or anything like that that's come out that's just the market right like it doesn't literally just go up in a straight line um it looks like that when you it looks like that when you zoom out because it's just such a violent uptrend right so it looks like it's just a straight line but you gotta understand if you zoom in you will see like it'll be like up and down, up and down, up and down because there will be points where it loses a bit of value as well and some people are selling and making profit, right? So that's the way it works. So there are going to be dips along the way, but the point being is people are saying that HBAR is going to continue to go and they're saying that it's going to surpass its all-time high. So, you know, the point at this, you know, going by these analysts would be, where is it going to go? Like what will be the new all-time high then? So real exciting times man so yes guys um I'll, I'll leave it there i just wanted to show you the sentiment but you know as you can see a lot of people are saying it's looking to try and start going for the all-time high a lot of people are saying it's going to surpass the all-time high we will see like this doesn't mean that it's a guarantee that this is going to happen so just understand that but for me the way i'm looking at the market now and being in the bull run in the past um it, it looks very promising it, it does because the way these cryptos are moving uh before we've even actually got into alt season that's really impressive you know it really is so that to me makes me think man like if that's the kind of price action we're getting right now before we've even got into the actual main all season rally then yeah like it's looking very possible that when all season does come things can get even more insane than what they currently are so you know like the potential is still massive so let's keep an eye on this uh, but very positive so far and fingers crossed that we do get that all-time high surpassed and we start going into absolute new price discovery because it's what we deserve guys this is what we get for having the patience and having the vision of the long-term prospects of Hedera and HBAR it's all coming to fruition now so you deserve what's coming good luck out there thank you very much for watching this please remember to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell Take care.